thought I'd do this little video. It's a uh, it's very basic sort of thing. And it's about electrical switches and what they do and why they do what they do. Now let's start out with a little demonstration. An electric switch, most of the time, now here's a little manual switch here. And you notice it didn't just switch, it jerked. It pushed over and then it all of a sudden went all the way. Okay, most electric switches do that. So why do they do that? Why don't they just switch? Just, you know, clack, 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 you know, no click, just clickless. So why do they do that? Why do they click? Here's another one here. This is a um, uh, contactor. And you can see it goes very quickly, off and on. There's off, or on, there's on, off. So it's, it moves very fast. So why do they do that? Well, what happens with switches is you have power coming into both sides of this, the switch. And when you complete the circuit, that is, you turn the switch on, then those contacts the, that the switch uses connect up. You want them to connect up quickly. You want them to thoroughly connect up, not just kind of almost connect or kind of a little bit connect. You want power. You want the whole thing to connect. If they don't do that with any amperage at all, that is, amount going through the wire, then it's going to arc. Now, if I was to just take the wires and just slowly stick them together, there would be arcing, and that's a bad connection. That creates heat, could damage the switch. Uh, if that continues to happen. So we want these things to make a very fast connection. Uh, this setup here, where I'm doing this little doohickey here, and turn that on and off, is especially important with uh, disconnect. When I disconnect, like, okay, we're we're uh, engaged now where uh, the circuit is made and then when I let off it has to release very quickly and it has to release for a certain amount of distance it can't just barely release if the voltage is high that distance has to be bigger the bigger between the two sets of contacts if you look at this thing you can probably see those contacts there Kind of a dirty little thing. Uh, but they have to move a certain distance apart. Those are the couple of things that happen there. Now this is AC. If it's DC, that makes the problem worse. And there has to be things like capacitors stuck into the, uh, to the circuit to eliminate uh, arcing. Because they will arc anyway. The arcing actually can happen depending on the voltage how much voltage you got high voltage more low voltage less uh, it ionizes the air between the contacts and when the air is ionized it has lower resistance so it may continue to uh, arc even though the contacts are separated apart and with DC that's especially a problem but uh, switches have to move fast unless they're very, very low voltage, very, very low current. Uh, some of those don't really have to. But anything with any amount of current or amperage uh, going through it, and especially if it's high voltage, they have to move very quickly. Hope this silly thing makes sense. 
That's it on this one.